Yes, it's another day. Welcome. Welcome to Mbako Phosphate Academy of Science and Technology. I am Mbakwa Jonas Tata. You can contact us at 67995-3185. You can email us at mbakwaphosphate at gmail.com. Today we will be looking at the Roman numerals. Roman numerals. Mathematics from one. So in this lesson we will be we will explore the ancient Roman method for writing numbers, known as Roman numerals. You will learn to read numerals as well as how to translate the numbers you already know into Roman numerals. What we are using is the Arab Arabic numerals. When we say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, in this lesson you will, are going to study with me the Roman numerals. Welcome once more. I am your teacher Mbakwa Phosphate, as popularly called by my students. Wow, can you see this? Can you imagine that? The exact year when the Roman numbers were devised is not known. But you already seen something here. You see M C M X X V 1 1. Can you imagine the Roman numerals? We have one, we have two, we have three, we have four, we have five, we have six, we have seven, we have eight, we have nine. I am going to teach you how to write numbers using the Roman numerals in this lesson. What are Roman numerals? Roman numerals are a system that the ancient Romans used for writing numbers. Roman numerals are a system that the ancient Romans used for writing numbers. This system only used the letters I, V, X, L, C, D, M. And these numbers are combined to make different whole numbers. So we are going to be combining I, V, X, L, C, D, M. At the end of this lesson, you will proudly tell us what I stands for, what V stands for, what X stands for, what L stands for, what C stands for, what D stands for, and what D M stands for. The Roman numeral system. Each letter in the system stands for a number. I stands for one. V stands for five. X stands for ten. L stands for fifty. C stands for 100, D stands for 500, and M stands for 1000. Wow, it's powerful. Can you imagine this? You can see it here. 1 stands for 1, Arabic 2 stands for 2, double I. 3 stand for 1, 2, 3 I's, 4 stand for I, V, 5 stand for V, 6 stand for 6, 7 stand for V, I, I, 8 stand for V, I, I, 9 stand for I, X, and 10 stand for X, 20 stand for X, X, 
30 stand for x x x 40 stand for l x 50 stand for l 60 stand for l x 70 stand for l x x 80 stand for l x x x 90 stand for x c 100 is c 500 is d 1000 is m you are not expected to forget any of these values they are going to help us in this lesson welcome back this is Bakwa Phosphate Academy of Science and Technology we can teach you online the science subject including English language and the computer studies you can always visit our page Bakwa Phosphate Academy of Science and Technology on YouTube or write us at bakwaphosphate at gmail.com Welcome back. Remember, we are looking at the Roman numeral system and we are going to be looking at the relationship it has with the Arabic numerals. Thank you for being my students. Dear students, you are welcome back. You are expected to memorize these values. We are going to see how we are going to use them in addition and also in subtraction. Then, there are rules that we can follow to figure out the value for any combination of letters. Subtraction rule. If the larger value letter is on the right side, we subtract the value of the letters. We have already seen that above. Let us see. Now, the addition rule if the larger value letter is on the left side, we add the value of the letters. Let's practice our rule by comparing a clock with Roman numerals to a clock you may see in your classroom. One will match one, two will match two, three will match three, IV matches with four. Since V has the larger, largest value and is on the right side, we will subtract V minus one, which is equals to five minus one, and we're going to get 4. So V matches with 5. VI matches with 6. Since V is the largest value, and this time it's on the left, look at what is happening. Here is V. V here is the largest value and now is to the left of I. We are going to add it. That will give us 6. So we have VI matches with 6. That is the normal clock in our classroom. That is the clock in the Roman numerals. We have seen that. We will add V plus 1, which will give us 6. This is 6. We will add V 2 to 5, which will give us 7. Here is 7. You can see 7. We can see 8. 
but you see that x is to the right of 1 so we subtract this is 9 earlier we said that x is 10 so since x is on the right we subtract so we see 10 minus 1 will give us 9 that's why we have here this is 9 this is 10 this is 11 this is 12 because x is to the left so 1 2 is to the right which is lower than x so the rule says that if the value that is higher is to the left we are but if the value that is higher is to the right we subtract x matches with 10 this is 11 x is to the left of 1 so we add x is the largest value and is on the left left so we add 10 plus 1 is 11 the same thing with 12 x is to the left and so we observe that 1 1 is lower than x so we add let us look at very large numbers what if we wanted to write the number the next few years in Roman numerals well is is let's start with 2016 and go all the way to 2020 we will start by using the letter M who stand for 1000 M stand for 1000 now you see 2016 so we are going to have 1000 plus 1000 that will give us 20 2000 plus 10 plus 16 sorry I have to go back Let us look at this. This 2016. So what do we have? We have 1000 plus 1000 will give us 2000. When we add 10 plus 6, it gives us 2016. 1000 in Roman numerals, this is 1000 M. 1000 is M. Now X is 10, and 5 and 6, 1 is 6. When you sum this, this is equals to 2016. Wow. Remember, you are being taught by Mbakwa Fawcett, mathematics, Roman numerals. At the end of this lesson, we expect that you should be an expert in Roman numerals. What about, can we try this? 2016. So in 2016, we are going to be writing M, M. Remember, we don't add now. X is 10. 5 and 1 is 6. 2016. Wow, this looks interesting. Now we want to look at 2017. Okay, we are going to have M for 1000. M again for 2000. Now, remember we are talking about 17. X for 10. V for 1. And uh, 
one one for seventeen. This is twenty seventeen. This is interesting. Now we are looking at twenty eighteen. Here we are. Twenty that's two thousand already. Two thousand and ten. 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018. Look at 2019. Now this is something we have to be keen here. Have to be very keen here. Remember, we said, if we have a bigger value, To the right of a smaller value, the value we are going to have subtraction. So it will be x is 10 minus 1, this will be 9. So you can already be thinking about 2019, you will see something like this. So we are going to have 1000 plus 1000 plus 10 plus 9 this is 2019 I want to believe that you're enjoying our lesson I want to give you some assignment can you please help me write the values in Roman numerals I start with A 1,500 Let me take the eraser Something have appeared that I do not like Remember, we are using technology to teach you I want to write 1,000 500 and 34. Can you please help me write this in Roman numerals? B. 10,500 in Roman numerals. C. 2021 in Roman numerals D 2022 in Roman numerals E 527 in Roman numerals Now you are equally going to help me do the following Write in Arabic numerals That is question 2 Write in Arabic numerals A. Wow, this look interesting, isn't it? This look interesting, isn't it? That is that for today. Hope you did enjoy our lesson. Don't forget to submit your assignment to us on time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. This is Mbakwa Phosphet Academy, your online platform. Don't hesitate to ask your question. We will be ready to answer your question. Mbakwa Phosphet Academy is here to bring the sciences back to you bye for now don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget
to contact us at backquaphosphate at gmail.com or our WhatsApp number 67995-3185. Bye-bye.